Parker was walked, and the wire the transfer bell is hit. Look out, there he goes. You knew that was gonna happen, the frustration of the Blue Jays, and they're going at it. <laughs> bell and the Blue Jays so frustrated over what's been happening, and Williams is probably saying he did. Just waved him out of the game, but I tell you, this whole thing is just a reflection of the month of baseball the Jays have played. Called strikes against John Valentin, and then third swinging, John's had a no-hitter through five. Valentin, meanwhile, thought that Tim Welke squeezed him a little bit and uh, didn't give him the benefit of those inside pitches. And finally, Williams and Mobon trying to restrain him, but Valentin is asked to leave. And then Williams comes out there and Wilkie says, you know, the presence of your company is no longer requested. Second First and it is gone. 40th on the season. Jose's still got an outside shot at 40-40, 28 stolen bases. Tempers flaring in this one. That's Jimmy Williams getting tossed for arguing balls and strikes. And White Sox in the third, Albert Bell. Hammers the Martinez pitch. Could it be home run number 48? Troy O'Leary's second best fielding percentage among ALF fielders. There's an example. Check it out. But that wasn't enough to satisfy Jimmy Williams, who was later ejected in the game. Why was he ejected? He was also rejected. But why was he ejected for arguing balls and strike? Pictures, descriptions, and accounts of this one. Tough night for the first base up, Brian Onora. Damon Buford drops one down. Jamie Moyer throws on. Onora calls him out, and Buford is on him right away. Buford incensed. He would immediately get the heave. Take another look at this. Buford and the ball get there at the same time. What do they say? Ty goes to the runner. Jimmy Williams comes out. He gets tangled up in blue. Onora and home plate up. Al Clark team up on him. He would get ejected as well, and that never happens to Jimmy Williams. We get coverage at normal time. Here's a ground ball to third. Backhanded stab by Brocious. Out at first. And another argument. First base umpire, Dale Scott. And Jimmy Williams has just been ejected after he fired his hat into the air. I don't blame Jimmy Williams at all. Pedro, stay out of it. So first pitch from the first batter from Pedro to Robbie Alomar right in the tuchus. Watch Robbie thinking about it, thinking about it. He's going to pull a quick one on Jason Veritek. Jason Veritek is strong enough up to the challenge. Martinez was ejected from the game, as was manager Jimmy Williams. But now gets Valentin's spot at third Wednesday night against the Royals. Top of the second. Johnny Damon, that's going to rattle around down there in the right corner. Well, no, maybe not. A fan puts his hand on it. Greg Zahn, Ray Sanchez scoring a triple by Johnny Damon. 3-0 Royals. Well, Jimmy Williams says, I think we had fan interference, and he lets Jerry Crawford know about it. As always, managers lose these things. He's ejected. Time since 96. Top of the fifth, Carlos Guillen picking his spots. Al Martin is going to try to score all the way from first base. Here comes the throw by Mike Lansing, and he's called safe by the umpire, Mark Wagner. Mariners have won nothing. Wait a minute. Catcher Jason Baratick is going nuts. He says you got the call wrong, and then the umpire throws Veritek out of the game. Veritek can't believe it. The umpire would say later, I threw him out. Oh, look, Jimmy Williams is tossed as well. Lou is like, I've done that before as well. Take another look. You know, Martin is clearly safe. Expos get out of the six up by one. It's 11-5 on the eighth. Chris Steins facing Graham Lloyd. Runners on second and third, and Steins is thrown out by Jeff Blum, much to the dismay of Jimmy Williams, who gets the gate from umpire Rob Drake. The first and third base umpires ejecting members of the coaching staff of both teams. Equal opportunity tossers, I guess. Deo Noma, bottom six, Selly down 2-1, Dave Roberts the bunt, and watch him avoid the tag here by Jeff Bagwell. Bagwell. Roberts safe at first, says umpire Dale Scott, and the Astros cannot believe the call, and they may have a point. Check it out, Roberts, not only about 20 feet out of the baseline, 
Well, it's a slight exaggeration. And then he totally misses the base. He still hasn't touched the plate. Jimmy Williams with only one M comes out and argues and gets ejected. The scoring, but not all the excitement. We go back to the fourth inning for a little foreshadowing. Jeff Kent surprised by the called strike after thought he thought he'd held up. Kent back up in the sixth and again believes he checked his swing. Home plate umpire Matt Hollowell's opinion is the only one that counts. He calls it a strike and then tosses Kent, who said afterwards, quote, it was just shocking to me that Hollowell couldn't handle a non-threatening situation. There were no curse words said, no challenges, no questions. Just guessing Jimmy Williams didn't use Sunday school language. He, too, was told to shower after doing his best. Pinella, Beth Braves down 3-1. Jesse Garcia up, and he is hit in the helmet with the pitch, takes first base, and the umpires they get together and say, hey, are you sure that grazed him? Well, Jimmy Williams is sure it didn't. The Astros manager is out, and look at the dance steps on Arthur Murray here. One, two, three, <laughs> twist though. He's going after the second base umpire, Rob Drake, who made the call, and Jimmy Williams gets tossed. Five, three, Cardinals leading. Ray Lankford pops one up down the right field line. No, everybody thinks it's gonna drop in foul territory, but oh! It apparently hits a girder. It drops. They try to throw to get John Mabry at third. That gets away from everybody. Mabry comes in, and then the throw hits Mabry. So another run comes in. Jimmy Williams, the manager for the Strohs, arguing that it hit the roof in foul territory, making it a foul ball rather than a fair ball. Williams clearly upset about it. It was not ruled a foul ball. It was ruled a fair ball, so the runs count. Jimmy Williams, as you can see, was ejected. He was a spot cross, a tad miff, a bit irked, a mic perturbed, a little put out. But the Cardinals do win their fifth straight over the Strohs, 10-3.